Тетяна, hello, Тетяна. Привіт, привіт. Hello. So, uh, Tatiana is a um, muralist, um, uh, and uh, Svetlana will uh, tell you more about uh, uh, Tatiana. Uh, Tatiana is a Ukrainian-born artist who currently resides in Lombards Bay, and we know that she has transformed this town that has become home for now into an incredible place because she painted more than 30 murals there already, and um, it will be there forever, and so we, Tatiana's works will be not just pictures, but it's actually paintings on the walls. So this is what murals are. And the most recent one is, um, uh, was done for Cedarburg municipality. It portrays 264 square meters mural, which is called the Rainbow Cruise, which represents which portrays cultures of different countries. And one of those countries portrayed there is Ukraine. And also Tatiana is a famous Petrukivka painter that actually gives classes to South Africans. And I was one of his students, incredible. It, it captivates you, it draws you in and you can't just stop you. You ask for a little bit more, can we continue a little bit more? It's, it's just, uh, it, 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 it's, it's something magic. It's like meditation, it's, it's beautiful. Thank you, Tanya, and the stage is yours. Please uh, tell us about your current works or works that you have already done. Um, please tell us more. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Sietas. Thank you, Zinka, and uh, greetings to everyone. And uh, first of all, girls, uh, with my eyes of uh, the artist, I would like to say that Ukrainian women are so beautiful. You girls are so beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> Thank you, watching this video and I'm thinking, just as you, um, you alone is already an attraction, is already worth watching it. <laughs> <laughs> and all the content is just the addition to this beauty that uh, that uh, we are watching. <laughs> I think lots of people will agree on it. <laughs> um, yeah, and, this, <laughs> and um, yeah, especially talking about the beauty, I think uh, this is what um, my art is about. I I know that there's many aspects of being an artist. Yeah, some artists depict something. Um, so people, uh, like it's extreme for them, uh, people must think about something. Uh, some people are calming people uh, down with their art and um, my art, um, most of all, um, showing the beauty of life, showing the beauty of, um, of people, the beauty of, um, of nature, obviously, uh, because I'm a nature lover and uh, the beauty of different cultures. Uh, that's why this uh, mural in uh, Lombard's Bay it was one of my significant work that um, as my inner call to show, uh, because I felt quite, quite uh, alone in this, isolated in, in this small um, uh, South African village, <laughs> little fishing town. Um, it quite reminded me uh, my own town with uh, Shmerinka that I'm uh, in, in Ukraine, in central Ukraine. And um, I, I realized that um, uh, nobody knows where Ukraine is. Nobody knows even uh, where the neighboring African countries for the most of the, of the residents. And I thought, no, for the youth, for the education uh, aspect, I have to grow their vision. I have to bring the the world to to Lambert's Bay if if they don't know um, what the world is about. So that's why I was um, painting the map of the world is as huge as uh, it can in Lambert's Bay in that little town and uh, different countries here yeah, where obviously Ukraine is one of the highlights. So everybody knows where Ukraine is now. And uh, since that I become, um, I think uh, I personally become an attraction in, in this town because everybody wanted the mural from Tatiana and you know, she's your Ukraine. <laughs> And um, then afterwards, uh, when we all as Ukrainians meet and we decided, wow, our energy as a community is more powerful than individuals. 
and then how it started. And um, I actually got uh, here the book, which I was given by Dvinka. It goes Petri Kivka. And only here in South Africa, believe it or not, I realized my Ukrainian roots as um, um, like uh, also Olesa was telling that um, the um, Ukrainian has got such a deep roots and in art as well, in the painting art. So um, when I uh, found this identity as Ukrainian, this book become a, a, a really a masterpiece for me. I was really um, going through deep and I uh, obviously wanted to try. Uh, and paint this folk, uh, Ukrainian folk art, Petrikivka. And look what I have here. This is what I do myself, is uh, the, um, uh, the brush with a cat's hair brush. Because when I started painting, I realized that something is missing, that some tools are missing. And then, uh, uh, yes, it should be um, traditionally a cat's hair brush. So now I've got a cat right next to me. <laughs> what a, but no cats are injured. It's just you need to, it is, as you can see, you just have to trim a little bit over here and just make this um, beautiful brushes, which makes this beautiful fine detail on which Petrikivka, Petrikivka uh, art has to have. So yeah, this is my own also development and as a mural artist. So imagine I came from this big scale originally to this tiny, small painting, folk art with this um, cat's hair brush. So I'm quite diverse mm -hmm. artist, I must say. <laughs> Yeah, no, this sounds uh, fascinating and we uh, love your work and um, also so, uh, I can see that uh, Alexander has uh, joined us and uh, last year Tatiana and uh, Alexander painted 150 square meter in the middle of uh, Cape Town and it's uh, Hersoneski Mayak Lighthouse from Hersonesk from Crimea. Um, what was your uh, experience when you had to paint on such a height um, how did you feel and uh, did you have to overcome any of your fears to uh, to do this project you're asking me now uh, yeah i can see uh, alexander but uh, he's still on the mute so maybe uh -huh. Tatiana, you can start and if alexander is ready to join us he'll okay join us. okay uh yeah i can um yes um uh, actually, overcoming the fears, it was the last challenge <laughs> by painting the by painting that house. Um, I think both uh, me and uh, um, uh, and uh, Alexander, uh, we kind of extreme artists. We like as more um, as more challenges on our way, the 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 better. Then it uh, makes us um, the, the energy just actually boost. Uh, so yeah, we didn't have really. Um, height, uh, height uh, uh, fear, but what we had is that scaffolding that uh, for us as artists was very difficult to see what we what we painting on. Um, so for that reason, we had to uh, climb off uh, the scaffolding, go, um, uh, so spend like 15 minutes going on the other side of the road, go into the other building uh, on the third floor and only from that angle you could more or less see what you're painting so it was just a blind painting most of all um, and I must say it was incredibly magical um, experience how uh, without m most of the modern tools that modern artists would use they use projectors they use like this fancy tools we had only our hands masking tape a few rulers um, and brushes and paint, that's it. And everything was freehand. And uh, I must say, uh, Alexander is amazing artist with so big experience on the high murals. And he did his job uh, excellent from the first, um, he didn't even did, uh, did a sketch. So uh, if you see on the lighthouse is a big hand and he was just from the beginning um drawing this hand without any sketch and it was a real uh, three floor size 
uh, hand. Unbelievable. You know, I was so impressed and I think everybody was impressed. <laughs> Thanks, uh, uh, thanks, uh, Tanya. And uh, I can uh, also say that um, uh, there is a mural in uh, Ukraine, in uh, Kiev, that uh, shows uh, Nelson Mandela. So it's not only Ukrainian murals are populating uh, South Africa, but uh, also South African uh, mural of Nelson Mandela is uh, also on a high building in uh, in Kiev, uh, in uh, Ukraine. There is. Um, um, one more, yeah. So here you can see uh, the mural of uh, Nelson Mandela with uh, uh, also also mural Alexandra Q. Um, so this is in uh, Kiev, and I can see that Alexander can uh, talk now. Uh, Alexander, what was your impression of uh, South Africa? Can you share with us a little bit? And if you can put your uh, switch your video on, we would like to hear you. Alexander, um, Яке було ваше враження від Південної Африки? Що саме вам запам'яталося? Що саме може вразило? Що було дивним? Як щоб могли нам розказати трошки? We, we can we face some uh, technical issues here. We can uh, hear Alexander, uh, who's joining us from Vinnytsia, another beautiful town in um, Ukraine. Uh, but uh, I can also tell you that before Tatiana. Uh, there was also a mural of uh, Crimea in another South African uh, uh, town in Riversdale, and that was um, uh, Swollen's Nest. Uh, Chris uh, Todt, one of the activists uh, from Riversdale, uh, together with Ludmila, uh, with Ludmila Momotyuk, they opened the Ukrainian Museum in uh, Riversdale. One of the um, painters from Riversdale visited Crimea and uh, was really inspired with the beauty of, um, of, that, uh, of that place. And uh, he drew um, a mural inside the museum. And so that was in uh, 2012. And then uh, this is a project from 2015 where second mural in the Riversdale about Ukraine and uh, South Africa was painted right next to Ukrainian Museum in Riversdale. So if you are watching us from South Africa and you want to know more about Ukraine, you can go to Riversdale and visit the museum and see those um, beautiful murals as well. We thank to Chris Todt who uh, initiated the uh, museum and um, Hope that next time for the next festival he'll be here uh, in the, with us celebrating dancing and uh, enjoying Ukrainian cuisine. You can see. Yeah, there we uh, see this mural with uh, a Crimean castle, which is called Swallow's Nest or Lastivkina Gnizdo. <coughs> so this is actually the mural that was painted in Riversdale. Um, now, I, I believe that Nick, um, Alexander is joining us. I'll just tell a couple of word, words about him. He's a contemporary art curator and artist, a founder and the chairman of the regional public organization Contemporary Art Laboratory in Ukraine. And uh, as a part of International Public Art Fest, which took place in South Africa, Alexander and his colleagues created a unique large-scale mural called Gift. Alexandra, we know you hear us. Uh, yes, uh, now we can, can hear Alexander. So um, we hope you enjoyed the murals and that you've uh, you, if you are whether it's in Cape Town or Riversdale, that you will uh, go and make photo with a mural. We would be really happy if you can uh, post it on the, our page. 
or if you already have that photo and you can share, please share it with us. Let's, let us know if you've ever heard of a, a mural in the uh, Riversdale or in Cape Town. Or maybe you've uh, been in Kiev next to Nelson Mandela uh, mural. We would be really happy to know. Thank Thanks you very much. Lot. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, yeah, Alexander, yeah. for joining us. Um, and yeah, thank our, you. Uh, yeah, moving to our next participant, we'll start discussion Ukrainian roots through craft.